All right, so hypothetically speaking, you're an all-around type of guy. You do a little Photoshop, you do a little web creation, you blog, you, you play video games sometimes, you do all this great stuff, you love all the high-end hardware, but you're on a low-end budget. Gas is expensive nowadays. Uh, you know, you're, you're a true geek, you do it all, but you, you, know, you gotta save some money for the, you know, the Mountain Dew and the Taco Bell and all that silly stuff. So you need something that's gonna be affordable, but will use the high-end processors, the high-end RAM, have good quality, good durability, etc. Take a look at this board. This is the EP45 DS3R from Gigabyte. So this is gonna be their new P45 board. Uh, let's talk real quick about P45. Some people don't know what P45 is. P45 is Intel's new North Bridge. Uh, that is replacing the P35. So that's your mainstream motherboard segment. It's not your high-end stuff, but it will perform at high-end. Uh, it's the first 65 NM North Bridge. Uh, so before they're using 90 NM. So that's gonna let you get everything cooler, uh, it's going to run on less power. It's going to basically what it's going to do. It's going to give you X38 and X48 performance, but at the P35 price. Um, now, how does it do that? Well, it offers you the features that you'd like to see: 1600 megahertz front side bus support. Uh, you know, so you can definitely overclock. You can run the fastest Intel processor on the market, or you can run the 1333 stuff. Uh, multiple PCI Express 2.0 slots allow you to run Crossfire uh, and Crossfire X. You get the I ICH10R uh, Southbridge chipset, that's replacing the ICH9R, which was the previous one on the P35. So you get all these great features. It also lets you use all the overclocked RAM, the uh, 1066 and the 1200, uh, the faster RAMs. You're not stuck at just 800. Uh, let me go over with you some of the stuff on this board. Uh, if you can zoom in here, uh, starting off obviously uh, with the socket 775. Uh, now this is uh, up to 1600 megahertz front side bus. This will take uh, all your 45 NMs. So it's ready for your Wolfdales, your York fields. Uh, those are your E8400s, your Q9450s, Q9400s. 300s, QX9770s, etc., etc. We'll take all of those. It does take DDR2 RAM. Dual channel is supported up to 1200 megahertz. So you're not stuck at only 800. You can go all the way to the faster DDR2s without going all the way to DDR3, which is much more expensive. And since they have high latencies, sometimes it's not really worth it. The performance doesn't end up adding up when it gets to your uh, your you know your bank your bank account. Uh, what else do you get uh, over here? You got 24 pin power. You got a floppy disk drive header. Uh, moving on down over here, uh, if you see on the side here, you got an IDE header for your legacy drives in case you got an old hard drive you want to take out. Uh, what else you got? Six SATA ports. Those are all three gigabit per second SATA ports. They do support RAID 0, 1, uh, 0 plus 1, 5. You got all of them on board right here. Now, let's talk about the slots. This is where P45 you know, gets its uh, whole thing here. You do have two uh, PCI Express 2.0 slots. Now, this is gonna be, if you're running one card, it's gonna be X16, and if you're running two, it's gonna be X8 on both. So, uh, not 100% for all the gamers, but it's still an excellent card. Uh, you can still run one big video card. A lot of times, you know what, guys? You don't need to have uh, you know, two you know, big, huge video cards. You can get away with one. You can play almost every game on the market right nowadays with one video card. Now, on top of that, you get two PCI uh, slots, regular PCI slots, so those are pretty good, pretty useful for your peripherals. Uh, and you have three PCI X1 slots right here, so those are good for your sound cards, your fiber cards, your controllers, etc. Uh, you know, very useful uh, on mo modern day systems. Let's take a look at the side panel. Uh, starting up here from the top, you got a couple PS2s for your legacy uh, mouse and uh, keyboard. You got the SP diff. Uh, coaxial and the optical, it's one cable solutions for surround sound. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight USB 2.0 ports. So that's very, very generous of Gigabyte to give you that. You got two fire wires up at the top over here, the big one and the small one, and you have dual Gigabit LAN. Now this dual Gigabit LAN is, is awesome. They really took the extra step to save energy to make it more efficient. Uh, it's definitely green power. If you're using a short cable, it's not gonna power up the port to its maximum uh, amount of, of current. Uh, you have fault tolerance, so if one of the gigabit lands goes down, it'll transfer the flow to the other one. Uh, RSS, RSS is, uh, what is RSS? It's a receive slide. Uh, scaling, something like that. Anyway, it's not important. What it does do is really cool though. It spreads your network load over two cores or over four cores, depending on what you have. Uh, so you're processing the information quickly and efficiently over your cores. And you also have a 7.1 onboard high def digital surround sound. So that's fantastic. It does have all the Dolby home theater stuff. Uh, so it's really, really cool. Now, let's say you're in the CIA you are a top secret operative and you need to have all your information very secure. This has something on it called TPM, 
total protection module. It's actually a little chip on the board. It's actually right here. And it stores all your passwords, all your accounts, everything. And it actually encrypts it. 2048 bit encryption. So no one's gonna crack that. Super safe. Uh, it helps you recover too. If you actually lost the password or something like that, you can recover from it. All right, now let me talk to you uh, enthusiasts out there. You overclockers, you're enthusiasts. I know you guys want to have the most expensive motherboard with all the parts you can get, but not everyone has this huge budget, uh, you know, unlimited bankroll. You got to sometimes make your budget. So this board is actually really good for overclockers, for enthusiasts. You get a lot of great hardware. You get solid state capacitors. You get ferrite core chokes, uh, low RDS MOSFETs, uh, dynamic LEDs. One of the things on this thing, the dynamic energy saver plus is these LEDs on the top right here. They actually light up. They'll start Start over here in green, then they'll go to yellow, and they'll go to red, depending on how much CPU usage you're using, memory, power you're pulling, etc. So it kind of gives you an idea of how much of your computer you're using. Uh, now, on top of that, there's a lot of other friendly overclocker features. You get dual BIOS, so you know you're just way offhand. You went way too fast, way too far on your overclock. The BIOS got corrupted. I mean, you messed everything up. No worries. You're not going to have to reset your BIOS chip and take it out and put a new one in. It's got dual BIOS chips. So it'll go back to the, uh, no, the backup, which is fantastic if you're really extreme. Uh, what else do you get? Uh, over uh, Hardware over voltage ICs. Those are going to give you better voltage control options for your CPU, your north bridge, uh, your memory, all that kind of stuff. Also, there's Easy Tune. I had an awesome time playing with Easy Tune. It's very simple. It's a great way to get your feet uh, wet with over and overclocking. You know, if you don't want to go straight to the BIOS and adjusting everything manually, it's very simple. But it does give you a lot of controls. Uh, pretty much what Easy Tune is, it's like ESA from Nvidia. It's also like Intel uh, Extreme Tuning. It's operating system based monitoring and overclocking. So it's very simple. Uh, if you click onto the Advanced Features or the Advanced tab, you can actually uh, overclock your front side bus, your CPU, your memory. You can control all your voltages. You can set fan alerts. Uh, you can do all this great stuff. It's very simple to use. It's just sliders, voltages, and it's all very precise, very easy to use. Uh, I got this thing up to 485 megahertz. Okay, so quad pump, that's almost 2,000 uh, megahertz uh, front side bus. So very fast. And I was on a Q9300. Uh, what else do you get on here? Uh, passive cooling. Again, the cooling on this thing, if you take a look at it, you don't have all the, the, uh, the cooling pipes and the copper and stuff, but I mean, I just told you what that front side bus was. Okay, almost 2,000 megahertz. You can still get really far, uh, you know, so it's not gonna be your ultimate board if you wanna be at the blistering, bleeding edge of the processor, but it will let you overclock great. All right, so gas is expensive. You don't have all the money in the world. You're gonna be an all around kind of guy. You're gonna do some video editing. You're gonna do some Photoshop, some Illustrator. You're gonna blog. You're gonna do stuff for school and for work. This is gonna be a board that's gonna let you do all that stuff. It's gonna support the fastest processors on the market, the fast video cards, PCI Express 2.0, 1600 megahertz front side bus support at a low, low cost. This is gonna be way, way under $200. It's gonna give you all the high-end features. As usual, if you have any questions, go ahead and email me at the email below. I'll see you guys next time. For more information on the Gigabyte EP45 DSR3 Intel P45 motherboard, go to compusa.com and type in G452-2708 into the search box. Or you can call us 24 hours a day, seven days a week at 1-800-COMPUSA.